Hey girl, hey, it's your girl, typical black queen, aka Vondra, and I'm back with another easy and beautiful natural hairstyle tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how I spiced up my average twist out by using some of my favorite products from ORS Curls Unleashed. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and tap on that red subscribe button below, and then let's jump right into this tutorial. I started off with freshly washed hair. I stretched my hair without using heat by doing chunky twists all around. My hair is about 90% dry. If you wanted to do this on soaking wet hair, you could, but this just helped me with my detangling process. Now with this style, you're gonna be using four sections. So we're gonna start off with creating the biggest section, which is the back. I part my hair from ear to ear. I'm creating a front section and a back section. Like I said, this is going to be a easy style. So you're going to be doing a, a two strand twist on the back portion. And it's totally up to you what size your two strand twists are going to be. Because my hair is 90% dry, I want to add a little bit of moisture back to my hair and I use the ORS Curls Unleashed Green Tea and Mango Shine and Define Mousse. This styling mousse is lightweight and it doesn't leave a sticky film on your hair or your hands. It's made to create definition and to control frizz. Using just one pump of the mousse, I apply it to the portion I'm about to two strand twist, then follow up with the ORS Curls Unleashed Shea Butter and Honey Curl Defining Cream. This curl defining cream is oil based and has a very creamy and buttery texture. Um, it works well for both hold and moisturization and is great for dry curls. Now the amount of curl defining cream that you apply to your portions is totally up to you. Me, I'm very heavy handed especially because I do have problem with retaining moisture with my fourth hair, low porosity struggles. Um, so I added about a quarter size to a silver dollar amount to my small portions and that, as you can see like what I'm twisting it's not a chunky twist at all. With the back section done, my hair looks moisturized, my twist look juicy, and I can move to the front. I'm dividing the front half into three smaller sections. For the two sides, I'm going to put those away and get right on to the middle. The middle portion, I'm going to do the same exact thing as I did to the back portion. This is going to be a twist out. So I'm going in with the curls unleashed green tea and mango shine and define mousse, and then also with the shea butter and honey curl defining cream. I am so happy to see that my hair is growing longer. And even though that front part is always the longest part of my hair, it basically confirms that the rest of my hair is growing too. Okay, now that I'm done with the front part, which will eventually turn into twist out bangs, I'm going to start on the sides, which I will part into four smaller portions and then cornrow back, well back and up. The only difference with the cornrow sections is I, I'm not adding the shine and define mousse. I'm only adding the curl defining cream to put moisture back into my hair. And I pre-did the other side just so I can make this video a little bit shorter. Once you see one side, just mimic the same thing on the other side. I did about four cornrows back and up towards the middle of my head. Once I got both sides looking the way I wanted, because I had to restart and start over with cornrows a couple of times, but I got it together, um, I am pinning the ends across each other. So it's kind of making like, I want to say a bridge over top of the top of my head. So you have the two sides overlapping each other and then you pin them down with some bobby pins. 
Oop, hey Vondra, yes. Hair is dry and makeup is on natural beat. Earrings flying out, but it's okay because I'm still cute. Um, like I said, my hair is now fully dry and we're going to do the takedown process. I think what I love most about this ORS Curls Unleashed Duo is the fact that it did not weigh my hair down. Even with the curl defining cream being oil based, it was not heavy at all. The back is beautifully defined thanks to the shine and define mousse and the curl defining cream. So the front is actually looking very great too. With both sections, it's up to you whether you want to separate them or leave them as be. Um, I went ahead and separated them just to give them a little bit more of a textured look. I'm not sure about where you all stay, but here in DC it's a little humid, so I only separated about once or twice because I wanted to keep that definition during the day. So the less separation, the less frizziness, and the less for it to puff up. Ow, yes, with a few gold bobby pins to give that final look some pizzazz and jazz. I hope you all loved this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Until next time, girlfriends, see you later.